another group of breathtaking images have been sent back from the James Webb Telescope, including the Phantom Galaxy. Scientists believe that the galaxy in the middle could be a black hole. Jesse Rogerson is an astrophysicist and associate professor at York University and joins us now. Uh, good morning to you, Jesse. Hey, thanks for having me on. It's always great to have you on because it means that something cool is out there. Well, there's always something cool <laughs> out there, but we're getting uh, a better look at it. And, um, you know, I was kind of reading up on what the James Webb w was bringing back and Cartwheel Galaxy really kind of jumped out a ring galaxy. Can you explain what we're looking at with that? Yeah, this is a really interesting image and it's a composite image. If you look at the, there's some uh, blue light there and then there's some red light there um, superimposed on each other. And this is an image from James Webb Space Telescope um, taken in the mid infrared and the near infrared. And so this is just one of the, the infrared light that you're seeing here and it looks like a ring. And what's interesting about this image is that it's showing us a galaxy in transition. So what I mean by that is galaxies grow through collisions. And what you're seeing here is the aftermath of a collision. Normally, a big giant galaxy, a, a galaxy like our galaxy, the Milky Way, has a spiral shape. And you can see kind of the spiral pattern still sort of remnant left in there. However, you also see there's a really, really bright ring right in the middle and then another outer ring further out. And what we're seeing here is the destruction of the spiral uh, arms that would have been there before wow. when another galaxy collided with it and made it grow. So, I, so I gotta James ask Webb you, is showing us. We, you know, we are on a collision course in five billion years uh, with the Milky Way with the Andromeda. Could that reshape the Milky Way with gravitational waves uh, to create this kind of ring? Oh yeah, you, you can say goodbye to the structure of the Milky Way when it collides with Andromeda. Yeah, we're, we're flying directly head on with the other major, that's the other major galaxy in our local group called the Andromeda, the Andromeda Galaxy. Two me big, massive spiral galaxies and they are uh, flying towards each other. And this is how galaxies grow and get bigger. Yeah. And, and it's gonna completely reshape everything that, that happens here. The interesting thing about galaxy collisions, uh, fun fact, is that galaxies, while they're massive and big and tr trillions of stars potentially, the, there's actually a lot of space in between all the stars. So there's not a lot of actual colliding of material. It's, it's mostly, the stars just sort of go through each other, right. but the gravity does all of the reshaping. So it's an interesting thing. We would survive a collision, right. but that's billions of years in the yeah, future. Yeah, we don't have to worry about that. That's like next <laughs> week. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, you must be excited, though. The, the image is coming back. What is it about the James Webb that makes it so much uh, superior to what we have seen from, from previous you know, telescopes that have been up there? Uh, Hubble, for example, that really gives us this eyes in the universe. And what are you excited to see next? Well, okay, well... So JWST, I mean, it's a next generation. So like, you know, Hubble was 30 years ago working on 30 year technology. JWST has, you know, up to the minute technology on it, but it, it's collecting area is much larger. Hubble is a, is a two ish meter telescope, two meters wide. JWST is like six meters wide. But what's important about JWST is that it's an infrared telescope. So it can show us the light that we can't see with Hubble. And if, I, if I'm gonna really like nerd out, the, the, you can actually look up the lists of the things they're planning to target week by week by week. You can find it on the NASA website. Oh, man. And this week, they're targeting Cassiopeia A, uh, which is a supernova remnant. So they're gonna be pointing at this star that exploded like 400 years ago-ish or so. Wow. And it's, it's vibrant, it's got a bunch of shells and expanding explosion going on. So JWST is gonna be able to do some cool stuff with, with Cassiopeia. We have to have you back because you can nerd out any time. I was up on the top <laughs> of Mount Tita last uh, year in the Canary Islands looking up at the stars and I just wanted to see more and more and more. Uh -huh. But well, that's a discussion for another day. And <laughs> for now, I'm gonna send it back to, to uh, Nick and Jen, but thanks so much for being here mm -hmm, with us this morning, mm -hmm. Jesse. Thank you.